50. Up next, we will check in with Tasha, who's shopping a block. You're watching Breakfast Television. 7.52 on this Monday morning, and you're watching Breakfast Television. Let's get out to Tasha. Who knew that pillows could be so fascinating? Tasha. Who knew, Simi? As you can see, we have a smorgasbord of pillows right behind me. Uh, this morning on the live, we are shopping the 100 block of West 3rd. It's our new shop a block that we're going to be doing all summer long. And uh, our first store here is Pillow Decor here on West 3rd. Now, Karen, I was surprised how many options you can have with pillows. And uh, you were saying that's what people are most afraid of, is kind of changing it up and adding different patterns. Mixing the florals with the stripes and the textures and and the solids and that's what people find hardest to do combining those fabrics and patterns and they tend to be a little bit safe Canadians are a bit conservative <laughs> and so they need help with combining and they bring in their sofa fabric or digital pictures of the room and then we take the color inspirations from there and then create a few groupings for them to choose from and I like that and, and you're saying one of the kind of popular colors, especially for summer and spring, um, are kind of the bright floral colors like oranges and greens. Mm -hmm. Well, they're really bright and cheerful and mm -hmm. fun and it's just happy colors. Now when people come in, you said it's a great idea. What's the first thing you ask them? Because sometimes it can be overwhelming. Um, for somebody to come in here and, and not even know where to start? Well, I asked them about the room and really what we're working with. Yeah. So, because I haven't seen it unless they bring me a picture and they'll, they'll describe their sofa and their love seat and their chairs and different things that they want to add color to and give it some life, mm -hmm. give it some fun. So it's always best to, I guess, if people are buying a new couch to kind of go a neutral color and then you can jazz it up every season with something different. Well, that's where you add your, in your personality with your yeah. color and your texture and mix it up. Like, don't, don't go for pillows all the same. Mm -hmm. It's way more fun and interesting to mix up those colors and shapes and layer it. And it's a lot better look. Okay, let's head over to this one because this one definitely has different textures. And I noticed that things are all on threes. Is that a design rule? Yes. Yes. Uh, if it's formal and traditional, it tends to be symmetrical in pairs, but most people live a little bit more casually now. So for a modern look, you would go odd numbers and just, you know, just shake it up a little bit. And I noticed that you have, you know, the faux fur. And uh, what about this fabric here? What's this one called? This is a damask and this is really hot. It's, uh, it's been reinvented sort of from a traditional pattern uh -huh. with uh, a little bit of, of a modern twist, uh, adding in colors and just different textures. Okay, so let's check out the different pillows that we have here. And the thing is, is probably to invest in pillows where you can change them off, right? So a lot of pillows come like this now. You just zip off the covers and you can change the pillows. Even if you have those pillows on your sofa that came with the sofa, mm -hmm. you can just zip off those covers and add new covers and have a whole new look. And a lot of people are even doing it seasonally. So they'll have one look in the summer and one in the winter. Yeah, and those are obviously two different, you can tell two different seasons, mm -hmm. and just, an, it's an easy change up. And it's fun, and the husbands like it because <laughs> they don't have to buy a new sofa. <laughs> or paint the room. Okay, those are some great tips. Thank you very much, Karen. Uh, we're going to continue shopping the 100 block of West 3rd here on Breakfast Television. Stay with us. Can't buy me love, can't buy me love. Well, Simi, I'm back at Pillow Decor as we explore the 100 block of West 3rd in our Shop a Block series here. And, uh, Karen, we got an email from a viewer. They mm -hmm. asked us, what do you do with all the throw pillows when you have guests over? Well, this is for display. <laughs> you have this many on your sofa at home because there's not enough room for people. <laughs> but, you know, when you have a, a feather insert in your pillow, it does, you sink into it. So there is more room on the sofa. Yeah, for you just people. fluff it up for luck. Yes, yes, you and just you also, make it look pretty. You also said a great suggestion is to actually stack them and not be afraid to use them as added seating for kids. Oh yes, they like to sprawl on the floor, especially the teenagers. And if you don't have enough seating when you have guests, people will grab them and just, you know, sprawl all over. Yeah, and then also use it as a little bit of a, a design figure oh, kind of on the side, right? they look beautiful that way. They look well, great. That's my suggestion. And a little pillow here. Oh yeah. <laughs> so there you go.
<laughs> now like the a world jewel on top. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit on top. Now, what are you seeing in terms of shape for pillows that are coming up? Well, the rectangular ones have been really popular, mm -hmm. and. Uh, on a chair, this is going to give you some support at the back, especially if you have those petite guests. Yeah. It just makes them a little bit more comfortable. Okay. And these are, um, well, they're European, so they're very fashionable. They are. Look at that. Look at the fabric here. Yes, it's, it's uh, faux fur, and uh -huh. it's uh, just a gorgeous fabric. And this is probably one of the most expensive pillows that you have here, Yes, right? yes, So this are. one is? Those are 179 now, what's the price range for pillows these days? I would say they average from about 39 to 69. Okay. And uh, let's talk about color, too, um, that you're seeing here with the teal and the brown. A well, lot of people the love the chocolate. Yeah, yeah, it's very popular. So. And uh, there's a range. A lot of people will like the neutrals. And uh, this is a gorgeous pillow. It's, uh, again, from Europe and uh, a very famous designer, Trisha Gill mm -hmm. from Designer Skill. Uh, the local designers love this one. Local designers come in quite often. At the end of the project, they put it all together with some pillows. And we also have um, pillows done by local designers too. As well. So the faux suede there and uh, the silk. Now, there, when we were talking about different shapes, rectangular shapes, this is the box one. And you're saying this is probably best for leather couches. Yes, because of this box edge, it tends to sit up uh -huh. and it doesn't slide on your sofa so much. So it really helps uh, make them stay where they're supposed to. And this here, this uh, faux suede one, this you, perfect for children, right? Oh, Which, this is so practical. This is very practical. Fabric. And what makes this one so practical? Well, it's a microfiber, so it's really tightly woven, and things don't pet on top, and you just wipe them clean. Okay, and I have to ask you about the houndstooth. That seems like such a bold uh, fabric there, but you're saying it's nice to blend in with some different colors? Mm-hmm. Well, it looks good with neutrals, and a touch of black is always good in your room. Uh-huh, because that's what you're seeing, right? The black and mm -hmm. white. Well, you'll see it in fashion, too. It's very current. Okay, thank you very much there, Karen. Uh, let's now head back to the studio. Sasha, I wanted a couple of those microfiber pillows.